Hi guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich here. On behalf of Rich TV Live, and we are 29 days, 15 hours, 4 minutes away from history in Canada. Recreational cannabis will be legalized. It's true, and it looks as though America is following suit, and the entire industry is green again today. And your boy Rich was the first to predict that the cannabis stocks would explode this fall and that's exactly what's happened and your boy rich also last week predicted that aurora cannabis would go up a hundred percent it is up now over 30 percent since i did my video <laughs> and i also predicted that lyft would be a new ipo today that would launch and be a success and guess what guess what Let's take a look, see if we can find Lyft. Let's just go to Rich TV Live. Guys, you can find all the tools at richtvlive.com, www.richtvlive.com. Hover over stocks, everything is there. Let's see if they have it at Trading View. They might not even have it there yet. It's so new. Brand new IPO, Lyft. Will it be here? Oh, it's there. Let's see. Bam! Brand new IPO, your boy Rich brought this to you last night, late night, and it's up 64%, what? I said what? Yeah, it's true, your boy brought you this pick before anybody else on the planet, brand new IPO, I told you guys it was going to be a winner, and it's up 64%, wow, what a winner. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners, but we bring them to you first. So I got a new winner for you guys. Okay, that's not what this video is about today. This video is about a new winner because I want to bring you guys new winners before anybody else on the planet. Before I do that, let's look at the daily advancers. KTNNF up 62%. NTRB up 49%. PVHO up 43%. SKVI up 42%, EKKH up 38%, wow. So ETST, put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. It is now up 11%. It is on full alert, Earth Science Tech Inc. And let's talk about why. Obviously, the marijuana index is up 9.9%. You can see it is just steadily climbing. This was a normal consolidation after it came down. It's going back up. You could see in the last five days, the highest it's been is over 900. Your boy Rich predicted when it was at 400, it would go to 1,000. We're getting so close. It came back down last week after a bunch of bad news. It's bounced back up, came back down, bounced back up. It is climbing again, and there's some news that is broken on the marijuana index, and I'm going to tell it to you guys first. So let's talk about it. Earth. Science Tech Inc. ETSD execute perfect timing for uplisting as feds appear to abandon legal high ground on cannabis. ETSD this week announced uplisting to the OTC QB Venture Exchange. They are moving up to a higher tier exchange. This is very bullish news for ETSD. Check out this news. The FDA approved product containing cannabinoidal CBD. That is enormous news that the FDA has approved CBDs. Congressional panel to vote on cannabis research bill on September 13th. DEA plans to quintuple amount of marijuana for research. Wow. Wow. The official uplisting of Earth Science Tech Inc. OTCQB ETST to the OTCQB venture market right there on this link on September 12, 2018 comes at a time when auspicious news graces the cannabis community. On Thursday, September 13th, the U.S. House Judiciary Committee will vote on a bill to increase opportunities for research into the medicinal Medical benefits of marijuana. This follows a report that the Drug Enforcement Administration, the DEA, gotta love the DEA, right? 
plans to quintuple the amount of cannabis that can legally be grown in the U.S. for research purposes from roughly 1,000 pounds in 2018 to more than 5,400 pounds next year. An announcement on June 25th by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration highlighted the organization's approval of a drug containing cannabinoidal CBD, marking the first time ever the agency has given a drug based on substances derived from marijuana the green light. <laughs> Here we go, people. I told you guys the opportunity was in America. I told you, it's in America. Such action by Congress and federal agencies, one of which falls under its purview, undoubtedly puts pressure on the Justice Department to review its stance on cannabis. Hopefully this soon will be forthcoming. I love it. I love it. With an uplisting to the OTCQB Venture Exchange, Earth Sciences Tech expects an increase in visibility and share liquidity. You think it's already up, people? It is up already 11%. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly from education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. The volume is very light. Only 41,000. Be careful. If you like the video, smash the like button, share it everywhere. Remember, if I win and you win, we all win. They only have 49 million shares out. I love that. Tight float, tight amount of shares, not a bunch of dilution here. This looks good from the outside looking in. And clearly, the market is doing well. Let's take a look at ETST real quickly. Once again, we'll just go to trading view. And we're going to go to charts. And we're going to look at ETST, ETST, Earth Sciences Tech, ETST at 89 cents, up 11%. So you can see here on the stochastics, they're pointing down. So be careful, it might come back down here. But the MACD is pointing up here. The blue is straight. The red is up. The Bollinger Bands had a massive explosion, then a retraction, now it's coming back up. So it seems to be climbing up again, up 11%, and the news is starting to circulate. Obviously, your boy Rich is on top of it first. We're on top of everything first. That's what we do best here, okay? But you need to put ETST on full alert, put it on your radar, make sure it's on your watch list. So now that it is an OTCQB company, understand it used to be a pink sheet company. Now it's an OTCQB company, and I'm going to explain to you what that means. The company will now be mandated to file annual reports with the SEC on Form 10-Ks, quarterly reports on Form 10-Qs, and periodic reports on Form 8-Ks, as well as subjecting itself to additional reporting obligations related to proxies, shareholder actions, and stock ownership rules. This is huge. They now need to be fully transparent. When you go from pink sheet to fully reporting bulletin board company, you need to report everything you're doing that's material. So anything that you're doing that is considered a material development for your company that investors should know about, you have to report it. You need to do a press release. You need to put it on your website. You need to let people know what your profits and losses are. So this is a great step for ETST. In the news release, ETST President, Director, and Chairman Nicholas S. Tabreu commented, historically uplisting to the OTCQB and being fully reporting has resulted in greater liquidity and awareness. We are committed to the higher level of corporate and financial disclosures required as an OTCQB fully reporting company, demonstrating our commitment to our loyal shareholders. The FDA ruling on June 25th is likely to have a ripple effect. It is the first time a product that contains a purified drug substance derived from marijuana has been approved by the FDA. Do you understand what this means? This is a historic approval by the FDA. The favorite drug is GW Pharmaceuticals, NASDAQ, GWPH, which is trading over $100. 
My goodness. An oral cannabinoidal CBD solution for the treatment of seizures associated with two rare and severe forms of epilepsy. Lennox Gasto syndrome and Dravet syndrome. In patients two years of age and older, it is also the FDA approval of a drug for the treatment of patients with Dravet syndrome. Its authorization should overcome Justice Department's inertia. Since cannabis is presently classified as a Schedule One drug with no medical use, the FDA must ask the DEA for a reclassification. Wow. This is huge. Moreover, although the Justice Department has promised to relax the rules on cannabis research since 2016, it has so far approved none of the applications submitted. However, now that the FDA, which is under the Department of Health and Human Services, has pushed it into a corner, it may be forced to do so. Here we go, people. This is a revolution. This is the Rich TV Live revolution. We bring you the winners. We bring them to you first. We break it down so you understand and know the truth. The brightening environment is bolstering earth science text prospects through subsidiary Cannabis Therapeutics, Inc., CTI. It aims to take a leadership role in the development of new leading-edge cannabinoidal-based pharmaceutical and nutraceutical products. Now listen. ETST, your boy Rich is in the CBD business. If you like to get in touch with your boy, contact your boy at richtvlive at gmail.com. We can do business. Your boy's got some of the best CBD products in the universe. It's true. Contact your boy. Just put it out there. <laughs> at present, CTI is studying various medicinal effects of CBD. Oh, and so are we. The company holds a provisional application patent for a CBD product that is focused on developing treatments for breast and ovarian cancers. Fantastic. So does your boy Rich. ETST, we're speaking the same language. Maybe we could do a joint venture. Maybe we could get you on our show. Maybe we could come to your facilities. Let the people know what you're doing. Bring it to the people. Another subsidiary, Earth Sciences Pharma Inc., is developing low-cost, non-invasive diagnostic tools, medical devices, testing processes, and vaccines for sexually transmitted infections and or diseases. Huge. The division is targeting medical devices and vaccines that meet the specific needs of women. This is very much needed. Its first medical device MS-2 is a home kit designed for the detection of sexually transmitted infections, STIs, such as chlamydia from a self-obtained gynecological specimen. Wow. The future is bright. A third subsidiary, cannabinoidal, cannabidio D, KBD, provides a wide variety of products geared toward the recreational cannabis market. KBD's unique canna and CBD formulation is sold and distributed in CBD-infused edibles and vapes e-liquids products. Canna and CBD synergistically enhanced one another, providing optimal relaxation, an uplifting sensation, enhanced focus, and the added benefit of assisting with nicotine reduction therapy. Wow. For more information, follow and visit www.earthsciencetech.com. What do you think about this news? Is this a company you're interested in? Will you buy ETST? The volume is very low, like I said, so it's not like exploding with volume, but it is up 11% on this news. It is on the marijuana index. It's the biggest news right now that just broke, and your boy Rich is on top of the news first. Like usual, the markets are green. We are winning, and we are 29 days, 14 hours, 49 minutes, and 34 seconds away from history, earth, science, tech, ETST. It's a big winner. It's true. Let's just quickly take a look at some of the winners on investing.com where your boys got a winning watch list and you go to your portfolio and we will see all the winners right now. 
There we go. Relentless Resources, RRL up 15%, KHRN up 14%, Aurora Cannabis up 14%, Tilray now at $121. Where are you, Andrew Left? Up 11% and huge up 10%. Just some of the winners that your boy Rich brings to you every single day absolutely free. Let me just add ETST to this list. ETST. Oh, they're not even on there yet. They're so new. They're so young. This news is so breaking. They're not even on investing.com yet. It's true. But your boy, Rich, we brought it to you first. Remember, we bring it to you first. All right. I'm out. 29 days from history. Recreational cannabis will be legalized in Canada. It's true. Your boy's out. Peace.